this is Alberto Veronica Lopez, adjunct professor at Midwestern State University, as well as resident artist there, national showing artist, and overall uh, teacher of the distance learning program here at Region 9. And uh, this is a continuation video of the lesson four, or the whole explanation for uh, recording value and light and sort of our discussion about sunlight and how it's made. So without further ado, I'll explain sort of the steps. I'll go step by step and we'll paint a cup. And for your convenience, this will be edited so it's a little bit faster. We'll see. <clears throat> Signing off. I'll see you at the end of the video. So again, what we'll need is blue, white, black paint, pencil. I will be drawing with a marker, a brush and water, something to dry your brush with, a sense of tenacity. That's always fun or adventure. Uh, our paper needs to be in the landscape position. After we have that, we're going to draw the cup. I'm going to rotate the camera just a little bit. So you're able to see it a little bit better. Okay. Um, the cup has changed positions, but it's the same sort of overall idea. And it's, you draw an underdrawing of a cup. As you can see, that's a very, very light. There we go, a little better. Uh, the ellipse at the bottom of the cup is going to be just a little bit about halfway, half the diameter of the largest diameter of your ellipse. So it's about this, and it's normally about one and a half times the distance. It should be down here. And I'm going to draw it, make sure I look at it, and one fell swoop. I don't like it. Oh my. Let's do that again. And the beauty of an underdrawing is that you get to paint over it. So I'm going to erase this. And I'll use this one here. And from there, I'm going to connect my ellipses. Make the cup. I always flip my cup upside down. It's really hard to pull a curve for me, so I, it's easier to push a curve for me. And any sort of, so this is fatter than that side, and that's okay because I get to paint it and I can mask or fix anything that I mess up. Right? My handle, handy dandy handle, is going to start here. I make a little C curve and I draw the handle. The handle, from what I can see, comes out all the way out here and bends down, stops here, and then curves inward, curves into itself. And then we have this curve down here, curves into there, and we have the center of the handle, and the handle isn't too thick. But it's a wee bit thicker than that. So let's see. Get that just nice and right. Make sure my perspective is correct. Right? So these curves sort of have to match, and they have to point the same direction, which is sort of a point off into the distance. Okay, and now I'll draw my handle. This is fun. And 
here. Oh, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? Here we go. It's a little less. It's about that. Not this. Right? Can't see anything. Can you even see that? No, you can't. Because this is all darkness. That's not there. All right. <clears throat> How do you paint the cup? Cup's fun. It's got about six shades. First shade. Two. Oh, I really need to stop using that marker. Three, four, five, six. Um, and I'll draw two little boxes for number six. So you guys can understand sort of how I paint. The first, a lot of blue, a lot of white, a little bit of blue. Number two, half blue, half white. Number three, just blue. Number four, blue with a wee bit of black. That's too much black. We're just going to use a fraction of that, but a, about a quarter of that. Five white. Six white with a little bit more blue than number one. So you guys can see it's about twice the amount of blue. And this is for painting slow and painting fast. Alrighty. Brush. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's ready to mix. Shade number one. Mix it together. Should make a very, very, very light color. It's always fun. Again, I am doing this from observation. Always do your things from observation. It's better that way. Keeps you honest. And it keeps with the tradition of the natural sciences, which is what science used to be called, the natural sciences. Art departed from sort of the natural sciences. Part of it did. In the early 20th century, due to very, due to a lot of reasons, really. Okay, so right side, blue. And what I want you to do is add a little ring for your lip. Take your time, use your edge. And tap. Right? We're going to tap and tap. Make sure it gets darker and lighter. So I'm going to add paint on the left, on the right, and slowly tap up and down, up and down, up and down. And my paint's going to run out. Slowly I'll be using up all my paint, and I'm sort of using lightly dry brush, and I'm tapping lighter and lighter as I get towards about three-quarter point. Make sure you get all little bits of white. White means light in a painting. Alrighty, now we go to the left side, do the same thing. Light. Or paint heavy on the left and lighten the paint as you go and move right. Paint the handle too. Just one solid color. It gets a, a core shadow and it gets a, it handles quite a complex form. This is gonna be the lightest blue that we use. So, you need only to use it to about halfway 
on the cup. And voila, we have our first step. Doesn't look like much, but we'll get there. I think, and this is, this is what I'm talking about, corrections. I think maybe this is like that. Yes, I think so. It's a bit wider. I knew it. Okay, second shade. 50-50. Mix it together. If you can see, darkens the color. You are like the sun. Or, yeah, you are like the sun. You add light, you create dark because of it. And you create everything else because of it. All the names have shadows in them. Or implicit within them are shadows. Right. Now, from the left to the right. Your paint. We're going to keep sort of the lip. That's the rim. Try not to destroy the rim. You should be able to see more of the rim on the front than the back because you're taller. Depends on the situation though. So again, add to the left, heavy, right? And then Tap up and down, lightly, lighter, lighter, lighter. Lighter and lighter. So about three quarters. And again, leave the rim open. If you somehow mess up here, we're able to either paint over it or you could scratch it with the back of your brush. Make sure you clean your brush, of course. So we did the inside. Now we're going to do the outside. So on the right side, add your 50-50, one to one ratio paint. And repeat, add a lot, gradate to the right, I mean to the left. So quickly or slowly paint. And again, you can correct any sort of inconsistencies. Remember, this was a little less white, um, wider or fatter than that side, or the curve was shallower. So now, when I paint, I'm able to add a little bit of oomph that it's missing. I keep going. I think it goes all the way to here, the darkness. All the way to the top of the handle. There's a shadow here from the handle. There's a core shadow here. And a 
and paint the rest here. Remember the lip. Leave it alone. Okay. And 50 50 goes on your handle. slowly gradate it out so add a little bit and then brush and tap towards the left again it's just like this but in a very very small scale so you have to be really really gentle whenever you make this core shadow So you guys can, can see it goes to the left, down, and to the right, and you leave a little gap here because the light is going there. Because of that, the, there's a shadow right here, but not underneath because the light's creeping around. It's bouncing off the table. It's kind of interesting. Make sure you get any little white spots. All right, wash your brush. Well, check for any proportional issues. Um, yeah, seems right. Wash your brush, wipe it. I always use my handy dandy towel. Your third shade. Is blue. Just blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the just blue on our shadow. We're doing our shadow just sort of quickly. And there's two ways to make the shadow. You can make a dark blue, a really dark blue, first. And then paint the lighter blue on top of it, or paint the lighter blue and then put the darker blue on top of it. Almost the same effect. But pretty much the same effect. Won't be able to tell. The difference. Right? Put the blue. Take your time. If you have any mess ups, it's okay. You can always scratch them away like this. You can always add light also. Okay, our second, so we painted our shadow. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to our cup and tap. this shape on it and it's sort of the reflection of the shadow so we're tapping 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 it's gonna come down here go all the way down here right right about there okay and tapping this shape here sort of diagonally to the left 
so down and to the left, like that. And then there's a handle. It does that. So use the edge and then flatten it. Use the edge of your brush, flatten it. And you'll see you get the reflection of that and the reflection of the shadow. On the inside, start your dark blue on the edge. And you'll see it really adds dimension. So much dimension. And what you're going to do is sort of make this shape. And tap. Because the, the shadow isn't really a solid shadow. And again, this is just blue. Because the light is bouncing off in there. Having fun. Making things lighter and darker. There's a lighter spot right in here of our cup. And for our handle, we're going to add a dark shadow here, a very dark shadow here, a dark shadow here, Right in the middle. And a wee bit of dark here. So again, and this is your core shadow almost. I want you to tap it all the way around. Come down, tap around. You don't want it too dark, you don't want it too light. You still want to see that shadow. You still want to see this shadow, but you want to hide it just a little bit. There you go. And the darkness spreads only on the top, right below the lip, right here, and it stops there. And yeah, right there. I'm going to wash my brush. How's the just blue part? Now what I'll do for my fourth shade is I'll get blue and I add a tiny bit of black. You guys can see, well maybe you can't. So I'm gonna paint my brush white uh blue. You guys can really see this. So my brush is blue. You guys can see that, and I'm gonna add. that much black. So a really small amount of black till it turns my blue into sort of a darker blue. The tinting power of black is extreme, meaning that it changes the blue color, any color really, rather quickly. Right? So we have the darkness and the darkness goes here right at the bottom of the cup. It sort of outlines it. Make sure you tap. Just add it gently. You really just want a small strip of it right underneath. Use the edge of your brush. And then fan it out. And again, if you had a darker under painting, you would put the lighter painting on top.
insert it and again just like we tapped dark lighter 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 all right now for the background make sure you had your water make sure everything's clean For our background, it's going to be number six, shade number six, and this is what I want to show you with number six. Mix it together, it's going to be darker than shade number one, but not as dark as shade number two. And you have two options with the color. You can paint it fast, or you can paint it slow. As you guys can see, One's darker and one's lighter. So this color is both dark and light at the same time. It's all based on how you paint it. Or it can be dark and light at the same time. So wherever I make it dark is where I have light. And wherever I make it dark, I paint it fast. So fast. Fast, fast, and it's only with the side of my brush. You guys can see my hands moving rather quickly. Do, 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 And then right up here, I'll paint slow. Darkens it a little bit for me. Then I'll add some more up here. A little darker, a little lighter. No speed up here. There's nothing there. So I can paint it really lightly. If you paint the rest of your picture that way, try to darken the edge around the rim so that the rim is defined by both how you paint it on the inside and how you paint it on the outside. So paint it slow around the rim so that your light colors look lighter because they're next to dark colors. So take your time. Remember, every all sunlight, every second of sunlight, hundred thousand years. Kind of amazing. Here, because it's dark, quick. Try not to carry, be careful around the really dark part. It might stain your brush. Here it's quick, it's almost invisible. Cup's almost invisible. All right, so you keep painting and keep painting, keep adding it. If you ran out of paint, mix a little bit more. I ran out. Right. Blue. Mix. Hey, have a lot of paint. Excellent. Be careful with the edges of your paper, guys. Try not to paint your tables too much. going to be a big cleanup if we clean everything. So keep going, keep going, keep adding. You can use your brush strokes. They'll be expressive because we're recording what we see. 
in a very human way. But at the same time, just like the sun. And make sure I have a thing to find right here. Right. And now for the last part. Now that everything is blue, double D double die, um, we're going to zoom in and we'll add our highlights where light is reflecting back at us. So there's a slight reflection here, there's a shadow here, but we have little bits of white. Um, there's a glare here directly from and what I do is I glob the white on my brush and I tap it and I tap wherever I see a big shiny spot on the cup and I try to make the same shape as what I see. So if it's along a little tiny line, that's what I'll paint. If it's a little dot, I'll paint the dot. If it's a vertical line, like here, make a vertical line. If it's a dot here, I'll put a dot. There's three dots right here. And there's a long dot here so it's remember across it if I went across be right here and here is the dot it's right on the lip so right on the on the rim of the cup there's one and then there's a little one here and there's a little itty bitty one here so I have my highlights, so my cup is done. Make sure I remove any sort of papers that are helping me out. And so now you know how to add dimension and shadow to your cup. Alrighty, and so what you do at the end, wash your brush, dry it out. Grab your very, very dark number four shade. And of course, put your name, your initials on the left side. Now, this didn't take a hundred thousand years to make, but it didn't take a short amount of time either. So I hope you guys learned a whole bunch. And I'll see you next time. Good luck.